John, a massive one nil win under the lights. Uh, what was your take on it? I thought it was a massive one nil win. <laughs> I thought it was a, I thought it was an outstanding performance, a real battling performance against a team that are renowned for their battling qualities. And I think um, we, we we stood up to the the task, uh, the physical task. And you know, I've come in, I've not been here that long, and I'm learning about more and more about the players. And today, I saw that grit and determination that you need to do the other side of the game. And uh, I, I thought we stood up to the test well. Just looking back to, to the start of the game, it was a bit, bit of a mix-up for, for Efron's goal, but well taken, and, and that uh, goal sparked a, a, quite a creative uh, next 20 minutes for us. How, how pleased were you from, uh, from that side of things? Yeah, well, I mean, I was... I don't know if I missed it mega, whatever, I keep predicting goal scorers, and uh, I, I said to... I pulled F before the game, and I said, I'll just got off your name on this one tonight and uh, he came up trumps but he's ca- he's always capable of that on a more serious note he's, um, he's a terrific player funny enough I got I got talking about something else a marking job or whatever and I, I didn't actually see the build up to the goal you say it was a mistake and I'll take your word for that so I need to look at that again but listen he, he was there in the right place at the right time to finish the job so no, it's put, capped off a very good week for Heffron and then, obviously, uh, ju- just just before the uh, the interval, Boreham had obviously peppered our box quite a lot. How, how important was you, do you feel like it was to, to go in uh, w- with the lead at the, the break? Yeah, they were really starting to get on top there in the latter stages of the half, and um, they were piling the pressure on. And listen, you've got to withstand that pressure when you play a team of, of, of their calibre and the players they've got and the pressure they put on. And um, thankfully, we had to rely on um, you know Ox and goal. Um, two or three times I don't know he tipped one over the bar he came out to somebody's feet uh, early on I think that was uh, I'm not sure that was a, a good play between Bowden I'm not sure if it was Reese or whoever but uh, he he was he made crucial saves at crucial times and I think it was very important that we went in at nil-nil from there on uh, I'm sure he won't mind me saying it but the you know the manager has had a right go at them he's got right into them and you know what I thought we came out a different different team second half there was there was real purpose to what we did and uh, you know what I just I enjoyed it I enjoyed the second half and I, I didn't think they well, I'm not sure that Ox had too much to do second half I thought we were the one always the one in the ascendancy and uh, we looked more likely to add to our tally Oxo did make some, some big saves uh, yeah. throughout the match what, what do you think that's going to do for his confidence uh, well, I, well, I hope he's he's quite confident anyway because he's kept quite a few clean sheets recently. So I think his, his confidence should be fairly high. I'd like to think so anyway. But you know, you make your own confidence in in, the, in this game, and uh, if he keeps you know pulling off saves like that, and uh, you know, obviously we don't want him making too many saves. You know, we we want uh, to our defenders to defend like there's no goalkeeper. That's the only way I can put it. Um, they, and, and to be fair, for the majority of the game, they, they, they did defend absolutely excellently. And, you know, we, we played, um, uh, 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 it was a brave, it was a, he managed the t- decision, uh, we played a brave formation. And, uh, you know, Efron had a little bit of licence to go forward and get into little pockets and uh, get beyond their back, uh, the back line. And, um, you know, and it paid off. I thought it was a brave decision, and uh, all, all fairness to the to the players, they bought into it and they worked their socks off. So some really good performances tonight. And uh, three clean sheets in, in, in a row takes on doing. I mean, that that that's uh, that must be something. Obviously, you've been working on uh, quite a lot since you've come in. <laughs> I'd love to take the credit now. It's, it's uh, you know, it's a team, it's a team thing, and and all you can ask for is that the, the players. You know the, the the defensive players. It's not only about the defence as well. It's what's what's happening in front of them as well, crucially. And um, but you know they, they they credit to them. They've taken stuff on board. And, and, and you know what? They're 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 embracing the challenge. And and you've got to enjoy defending as well. And uh, it looks like they're enjoying defending, keep, keeping clean sheets, and, and all power to them. Uh, how good is it to see the uh, the difference in wins? Obviously, to to win six 0 against Dover, and, and then a, a fairly scrappy one 0 win uh, tonight. Um, scrappy, um, <laughs> yeah. I take your point. Um, well, listen, we'd love to score six every week here, and uh, but you know what? I think that was a different, obviously, performance against a different team. You know, unfortunately, you know they're, 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 they've been struggling near, at the foot of the table, and you know what? Judging by the noise tonight, I think the supporters appreciated both games for different reasons. I think they they, they enjoyed the the endeavour, the the hard work, the grit and determination we showed tonight. And as you say, it was perhaps in in, in 
in their at times a scruffy game, but they also enjoyed that you know having the, the goal fest and the, and the good football against Dover. So different different performances, but they appreciated it, and I'm glad they came out in force tonight. Three straight wins, and we're starting to build some momentum. How how, how do we keep this going now? Um, that's a good question. That's a million dollar question, isn't it? I think. Um, listen. I think I said in the in the uh, the preview to this game, this would be a statement, not only a statement to sort of the other teams that we're going to be playing against, but also to ourselves. You know, it brings a lot of belief uh, performances and, 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 and to, uh, uh, like that, like Dover, whatever. So um, I think it's um, it's a case of building. It's not not standing still. We've got to push on and and, and try and improve on what we're doing, and and, and, and you know, and that's that's what, what we're here for. The, the fans that were, were fantastic tonight, I felt, and uh, they really drove the, the, the lads on to the end, didn't they? Oh, they did. Yeah, I think you know it, it does help when you have the crowd, you know, on your side. And I think they're very, they were very noisy tonight. And uh, and I've only had three home games here, and um, I thought, I thought, it was, you know, I don't know what the crowd was tonight in relation to what it normally is, but uh, they made a lot of noise. I know that. So yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was good, and I hope they enjoyed it. Obviously, our, our attention that now turned to, to Woking on, on Saturday back here at the Highland. How, how important is it that, that we can try and make this place a bit of a fortress now? Yeah, yeah, as I say, you know, we're, it's building, you know, it's, it's taking small steps and, you know, gaining those inches each time. But I think, you know, <laughs> who doesn't enjoy winning? And I think, you know, you could see the, the reaction from the players afterwards. They enjoyed it tonight. They enjoyed that winning feeling. And, and it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to come by. But once you've got it and you build momentum... And you know, I, I was I was at the Woking game the weekend, and, and there's no reason why you know we, we we can you know do well against them. You know, as you say, make this a, a, a fortress, if, uh, for want of a better word.